heart attack, fast fatal heart impact, past painful scars, in fact I blast tasteful thoughts and past I back up my actions, fact don't ask, grab reactions, jacked attack with every word and act with class as they hear me snap, I got nothing to lose, cause I fought and felt the bruise, now I'm not the one confused, call the shots and they produce, I ain't lost, I'm finally loose, pick a new submerged juice, I need the views to boost me to a new abuse of being used, everybody wants a piece now, y'all can rest in peace now, you're dead to me so peace out, remember you're discreet now, get ready for defeat. Alrighty, hello, hello everybody, this is Kyushok here, and now, before I do begin, let me just say something. If I sound different, or if you guys are confused at why the picture may seem a little bit blurry, or anything that seems strange, my phone got messed up, and I did have to get it replaced. So for right now, things might seem a little off, however they should be sorted out going forwards, however I just want to state that. Now, let's begin. We'll pick up where we left off. Deku, him and Amelia, they've been found out. Adam, he knows about his sister and Deku. And so does James, Alice, Amelia's mother, and, well, Claire, Deku's closest friend. Now, Deku, he wanted to go see the Machine Man or the Dratix technology that they recovered whenever he fought the giant monster or the giant alien. Now, Adam told Deku this would not be an easy request and there was actually Claire. She wanted to go see this technology as well. In fact, she was driving the car leading to the rocket and right now Adam he's no he is annoyed. They had to get on a rocket and head there. He only wanted Amelia and Deku to come. However, now you have an extra passenger. And they're currently en route to Pluto. Now, Adam, he is very annoyed. He wanted to sort things out with Deku. Deku, under their ruling as two things on their own home planet, will be executed. That's the simplest way to put it. Deku, he is being involved with the royal family in a way they would not authorize. And the fact is, this guy, yeah. He may or may not be in deep with his sister. The fact that he, him and her have both at least had mental connections is also very bad. This isn't allowed in their, well, particular reign. Now, Amelia was not authorized to have this relationship with Deku. And the fact that he is of a different species is what Adam, he is focusing on the most. Their current objective was to help increase the Edsel population, help their people survive. However, Amelia, she doesn't seem to be helping out with this initiative. Now, there's also the fact that Deku, he murdered their father whenever he was possessed by, well, the Traequa. Now, with that being said, we do currently have after the awkward ride to the planet, where Deku, he does land on Pluto, and him and everyone else, they do get out into the facility. And right now, a lot of people, they are staring at both Deku and Amelia. It is to be expected. Right now, they're really the first interspecies relationship of a human and an Edso. And a lot of people, they're confused as to how that's working. Now. We do actually have where Deku, after he was done coding a few things on a computer, and even trying to talk with Claire about exactly what's been going on here, and what he's currently doing, she actually is a bit more excited. As whenever Deku does step off of the rocket, or off of the spaceship, and starts to talk to a few people, they are confused by what he is saying. Deku starts to go on and on about a certain code, and ask them exactly what they may or may not have found. Now, after everyone does get, get a bit more situated, things are a bit more strange. Deku, he is actually brought to a computer where they do see that they do have a few things connected to something. And Deku, he does go to stare off at something else that he does see. They're more or less trying to hack the Etz, well, I almost said Etzo, hack the Dratix hard drive or well, black box, in a certain way. 
and they're trying to use something as, well, a barrier to stop it from either overloading or exploding. Now, Deku, he is very surprised, seeing many things. As currently on the screen, there's a code running. However, it's in a language and presumably number system none of the scientists have been able to decipher. And Deku, he is looking at the screen. Hmm. Okay, this is off. Hmm? What do you mean off? Well, I mean, the code, it looks... I don't even know if I'm going to put into words correctly. It looks corrupted. Hmm? Yes, so far we've been able to analyze that. So far we believe it to be... Let me guess. Don't interrupt me, though. So far, you believe it to be a jumbled mess of different technologies over the course of the Draytik's life cycle, timeline. Am I correct? These things, they cannibalize tech. And from what I can tell, even, even looking into my own head, these things have been seen ripping apart their own members of their own fleets. Not even that. The fleets of aliens that they've encountered before, I've seen this thing's memories. I've seen it watch a Draytix rip apart an entire starfighter. The, the best thing I can say it is is a starfighter. I've seen them just tear into this thing like an animal and just rip apart metal. Hmm? Excuse me? But how would you even know that? That's a discussion for another time. Listen, um, Deku hoings them up, expressing to them that he does have this right now. He believes that this should help out. It should be more like a decipher or even, well, something to help their research. He wants them to analyze it and see what they may be able to get off of this. The person bring their hand up and looking directly at it. Before they do go to pull it apart and it does go to open it up with a holographic screen. The code actually starting to run as a person they are just staring at it. Hmm. See anything interesting? Uh, hold on. Hold on. I'm looking and this is this is interesting. So what is it? Um well this is I wanna say it's but that would be no, that's unorthodox. Those numbers would be over... That one wouldn't... I see what you did here. You do? Yes, sort of. Um, I don't know if this is correct, and I really hope it is, but this looks like a basic chart. Hmm? What do you mean? Well, I've studied this strange alien tech for a while, and looking at this, trying to compare the two side by side, I'm seeing similarities. So you think I made a cipher? Um, let's not jump to conclusions. However, it's very likely you did. I don't even know how you would have been able to do it. Do, do you want to explain? I was possessed by an alien, and that was in my head. Is is that all? That's the best I can tell you. At least that's the best I can tell you that makes sense. That didn't make sense at all, though. Okay, just go on my word. That's really all I can explain to you. I need to see the machine, and from there, we can get things going... And I can at least start to understand what's going on here. Right now, I believe I have an understanding as to how their technology works. I believe I understand a lot more. I just need to know what to do. I need to be there, okay? Well, going down to the lab will be a lot more difficult, considering the circumstances, but if we are to... Adam stepping in, talking about how Deku has full access. He believes he has a way to stop both the Draytix and the Triqua. So, 
if he does at least have something in his head that will do so, he wants them to look at it. And right now, Deku, he is given full authority to look at everything. Look at any classified files they may have. Um, Mr. That would be King Adam. Okay. Adam. King Adam, I'm sorry. That is both highly dangerous and, well, considering the circumstances, um, very much unethical. And why would that be? Well, for one, sir, um, we, um, hmm, uh, that, that's out of my pay grade, and, um, we don't know if that'd be the best idea. Hmm, I see. Well then, I guess I still have to find an Etso scientist. Maybe they will actually take a proper order from me. Sir, you don't understand. We don't know what the hell we're looking at. You, well, in the best way you can understand, you just tossed a supercomputer with a basic encryption, or even a complex one, we don't even know, to an animal that might as well not know anything about computers. Hell, they don't even understand the concept of a rock being able to be what, thinking for itself? That's the best I can tell you. This analogy sounds like a strange one. I mean, Adam, it made sense to me. Ah, <sighs> Okay, but if I am to say something, Claire are actually going to step up. Um, what would that be? Um, I have a very good understanding of Edso technology. I mean, I, I worked with a lot of it for a few months on a moon base. And, well, if I go down there, would I be able to help out? Hmm. Um, no. I don't believe that would be possible. Most of the machinery we try and strip off of that thing, it doesn't seem to want to come off. I, I don't even know how to describe it. The thing might as well be a living creature down there. Um... Huh? Well, I mean, the way we so far understand it. It was some sort of metallic alien. And these things, they're made of a similar composition. From what I understand so far, it might be a living organism down there. Or it could just be another machine. So far, this thing seems to be able to do things. And... We found that keeping tech away from it is the safest option for right now. I mean, the man walking over to an observation glass, bring his hand up, and then going to type in a few things. Deku being able to see out of the corner of his eye, the guy type in some security credentials. And he does at least go to monitor the way the, ha the man is moving his hand. As when the glass does turn transparent, Deku he does go stand up and walk over. Everybody being able to look down into the room, and see that the few pieces of equipment that used to be around the creature, they're currently stuck to it. And the way they're being, well, assimilated, it looks odd. And Deku is going to look at that. There are a few pieces of tech there that they're wrapped up, and he presumably believes that they can't be taken off. Hmm. This is a slower version of it. A slower version of it? You mean this assimilation? Yeah, yeah, um... Listen, I need to go down there. I need to check. You will not. I, I can't authorize that. Even then, going through the proper channels, it, it would take hours, maybe even days. I understand your concern. I, I understand this importance of it. But... We can't... Listen... I used to be a detective. I know when to do things. I know when to stop. Alright? Now listen. Right now, the entire balance of our fucking existence, it lies on whether or not I can help decode this thing. Okay. Calm down. I'm not gonna fucking calm down. Listen to me. I've seen worlds die. 
because of these fucking monsters. I, I, I've seen the memories of this fucking alien that was in my head. The one that trapped me in versions of my own life. I wish I could live. I, I mean, shit. Have you ever seen the fucking horrors these things have committed? I, I can't even describe them to you. I've seen worlds die. And they're... They're lucky. They die quickly. Right now, everything I can tell you about these things, everything I can describe to you, they're horrors that we shouldn't be able to see. Horrors we shouldn't be able to know about. These things, they wouldn't have known about humans if we just... <sighs> I don't... Now... Deku is going to sputter out. He wants to scream and shout. He wants to at least describe to them what he's saying. And Amelia, she can tell that Deku, he was going to say something else. Deku was going to say that if the Etzos didn't come here, humans would have been safe. And right now, he's thinking about that thought. If the Etzos didn't come here, he would have never met Amelia. And the two of them, they never would have gotten close. Hell, right now he's trying to think. The entire survival of his own species could fringe on the fact that Etzos, they were in the hot zone and they tried to retreat. The fact that they were at least shot at or pursued and found humans, it could be seen as, well, bad. However, there's the fact that if their two species can work together on this, maybe Maybe they can stop it. Maybe they can stop another world-ending event. One that can drive humans from their planet. Now, Deku, after at least going to calm down, you do actually have Amelia. Who is going to start, start talking? Expressing to the man that he, ne he needs to call everybody. Call all the people they need to. And at least inform his bosses that right now, they have information and possibly leads on how to crack this technology. And they need full access. That is all they need. If they cannot crack this device, or they cannot help them, then it's quite simple. They leave. Amelia continued to talk, expressing to the man that both her and her brother are royalty. They have a jurisdiction to know this information. Right now, her brother is the king. Right now, he has ultimate pull on the final decision. If all four of them know this, Deku, he is the ambassador for humanity to the Edsos. They are who the Edsos consult on certain problems. And, well, he was part of the team that took this thing down. Right now, he has most of the information they need and, well, they just hand over to them, that can help make their situation make sense. If there's anybody here who can get that thing solved, it would be him. Right now, what they have is what? Months of work, months and thousands of dollars, maybe even billions, possibly in supercomputers, trying to decode in the technology. And all it's gotten them is fuck all. All it's gotten them is what? Explain to her what? What has it gotten them? What has it gotten them that is so top secret not even they can know? The ones who brought humans advanced space travel and faster than light locomotion. Now, the person you just stared at Amelia, as you do have Claire. Claire right now, she feels like a fish out of water. Maybe she should have just stayed on Earth. But then again, how many people can say, hey, I went to fucking Pluto. What have you done? Now, Claire just thinking. Maybe the, well, idea of witnessing alien tech up close, the promise of it, that was a little too far. Hmm. I, I understand. Um, listen, Miss P Princess Amelia, I, I'll, I'll talk to my superiors, see what they say, and... Maybe, maybe they'll allow it. The communications, 
and messages and everything in between, they'll they'll take some time. And um, you, you understand bureaucracy. I understand it very well. I am a fucking princess. Now, hop to it. Now, Adam, he does go look towards Amelia. She is aggressive. He's never seen her that aggressive. Now, you do actually have where someone else does come walking up. Them asking if they would like someone to rest. Because they do understand that the flight here, it took a few long hours. And right now, they believe their travelers would like some rest. Considering the fact that a trip to Pluto, it takes, if they're correct, somewhere around half a day. Yes, that would be fine. I was already up for quite some time. I got a little bit of rest on the ship, but I would love to actually take a minute to myself. <sighs> Afterwards, I would love to talk to you. Adam went to look directly towards Amelia. He wants to scold her on this. She is not following the direction of their father. And then he does want to at least say something about Deku. From what he does understand, Deku's involvement in this is big. And right now, there's at least the involvement he has with his sister. If he is going to blame somebody, he should also at least blame her. He's just as accountable as she is. And right now, this does also make him a bit annoyed. As we do have where Deku and everybody else, they are given a place to sleep. And they're even told about a few other things. Them being given at least holographic wristbands that do not only monitor their locations, but they also do serve as both, well, watches, and things that tell them exactly where the map of the base is. Now, we do currently have Deku and Amelia. It took about an hour or two. However, after everything was settled down, there is currently Deku who's lying down in his bed. And he is wondering. Everything with him and Amelia is all complicated now. Hell, they're... they're exposed. He's probably gonna be fucking killed. And then there's Amelia. There's... her. Hell, she's gonna be in trouble too. She'll probably be stripped of her royal status. Maybe... maybe she'll be executed too. Fuck, is that a possibility? Do they do that? Shit. Okay. <sighs> Fuck. There's already bad enough problems with him killing the king. Arthur, that was a mistake. If he was aware, if he could have fought back then, he would have tried. Arthur was at least a lot more reasonable. He was wiser. He was not quick to anger. And then there's Adam. Adam is already letting that power get to his head. He wants to keep everything under lock and key, under control, in his vision, his line of sight. <sighs> That's bad. It doesn't make sense. This being where there's a knock on his door. Deku going to look over towards it and go to unlock it. As he doesn't even bother to get up. Now, Deku is just going to roll over to his side. Thing that Adam wants to have a conversation with him. He wants to try and berate him, insult him, and yell at him. And he does hear the door, well, creak open before it does just go to close. Adam, if you're here to yell at me, talk shit, or just scream at me, don't bother. I get it. I'll be killed whenever I head back to Earth. So what? Just don't. Don't hurt her, alright? Fuck. I, I don't even know how you guys deal with shit like this. I mean, for humans, I mean, the process is weird. I, I, fuck, I don't even think I know. It's alright. Dick, I'm gonna turn. Amelia. Shit. 
You scared me. <laughs> I've never seen you scared. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, there's a reason for that. Listen, I just... I'm worried. I understand. You're worried about a lot. However, you're also panicking. Amelia, I, I mean, what else am I supposed to do? I mean, fuck, I was trained for stressful shit like this. But nothing like this has ever happened. I mean, possession from an alien threat... Reliving your own life in ways that you wish were possible. <sighs> Meeting your dead father. Smelling your dead mom cook you food. Her being there whenever you graduate. Your dad teaching her to ride a bike, ruffling your hair. Hell. <laughs> Him smiling at you and giving you the car keys whenever you're going to prom. Your mom's so excited that you may have found the one. I mean, <laughs> there's there's so much I experienced there that I wish I could have heard, Amelia. Being able to talk to both of them again, hearing their voices, I mean... Hell, I mean, honestly, I don't know if I can do that again. They wanted to fucking break me, turn me into a husk, see what they could do just to gain full control. I don't know if this is real, this is hell, this is just my brain fucking rotting in my own mind. But this is... This is turning out to be hell. It's okay. Her walking over to the bed and telling Deku that he is here. This is reality. How am I supposed to know that? The last fucking version of reality I went to, you were human. We were married. We had a life together, Amelia. Hell. We were high school sweethearts, and we had a child. I had a job. I mean, shit. I don't... I don't understand. <sighs> Everything I saw there was perfect. Was it? But it wasn't real. I know. I know. My mind kept telling me that. It kept giving me clues, things to see. But there's you. What am I? You're constant. You're always there. I, I, I don't know, Amelia. Now, Amelia is going to walk over to Deku. Her walking around his bed, and Deku, he does go do at least go to sit up. Him putting his feet on the ground, as Amelia is going to look directly at him, asking if he is still delusional. <laughs> I don't know how to answer that. In any reality, did I do this? Her pulling back her hand, and directly slapping Deku across the face. Deku actually somewhat surprised. As he's going to look directly back towards her, before he is going to bring his hand up to his face. And Amelia, she is going to at least reach her hand out and stop him. Did I ever do that to you? No. What? Why did you do that? This is real. <laughs> really? And how am I supposed to just accept that? How do I know that isn't her bring back up her other hand? And Deku actually going to bring up his own, going to catch it. You predicted that one. I did. Because of my... Because of what? Because I expected it. Because of my training. I always predict the second fist. Damn it. Okay. Maybe... Maybe this is real. 
maybe maybe we're actually on fucking Pluto looking at alien tech. But where does that leave us then? What do what do we do, Amelia? Now, Amelia does look at Deku. Before she is gonna sit down next to him, telling him that what they could do is quite simple. She just so happened to take something from Earth. Something that she thought might come in handy. And Deku is going to look towards her. Her going to reach down to her pocket and pull out two watches. Wait. I recognize those. You should. I had an idea. I, well, was going to talk to you at the hospital whenever, well, James was asleep whenever they gave him something, but there wasn't a good time. There was also my brother, and you started to freak out, talking about alien tech. I hid these. I was thinking that we could disguise ourselves and run off. Yeah, that. I mean, the idea sounds crazy, right? Running off is... Two people, humans, Etzos, maybe somewhere where we could live, be together. Does that sound crazy? <laughs> it fucking sounds loony, Amelia. In all honesty, though, it sounds nice. Does it? Yeah, it does. Thank you for looking at Amelia. She looks desperate. She's, well, her face. Amelia, I don't know. This might be the end of the line for us. Don't say that. Aren't you willing to try? Um, I am. Yeah. But whenever we get back to Earth, I'm pretty sure there's going to be a advanced fucking... What? Armed party? Armed security? Royal guards, maybe? They're gonna put me in handcuffs. Right now, I'm a free man. The moment we leave this base, though, I'm good as dead. Okay. Well, while you're still alive, let's come up with a plan. Something that we can do. Something that can at least make sure we're both alive. Something to make sure that we're both free, protected. I mean, th this isn't it. This isn't the end, is it? I don't know. Now, Amelia's going to at least set her hands down. Her going to put the watches down to the dresser, but we're going to look back at Deku, asking if he really does love her. What type of question is that? Amelia actually went to sit down on Deku's lap. Do you love me? I do. Yes. Really? Yes, I do. And you're not, and you're not willing to try? <laughs> Amelia, what type of question is that? You know what type of question it is. Are you willing to try? I am. Good. That's all I needed. Now. Let's come up with a plan. And, well, let's enjoy our time together if we can't. Okay? Yeah. That, that sounds nice. Now, Deku and Amelia, they do hold on to each other. Deku, he finds it strange. This must be reality. Amelia has never acted out in this way. She always seems so kind and light-hearted about many things, but she just slapped him. She raised her voice and got aggressive earlier. This is different. Nothing like this ever happened before. This has got to be real. I mean, hell, maybe it is? Now, we do at least have the next morning, where Deku is currently laying down in bed, and he is thinking about a lot. His dreams, the fake world, the fake realities he's experienced. 
and everything about them. The more he does think about it, logically, running away could help them. Hell, they'll be seen as fugitives and maybe hunted down, but if they steal a spaceship, then they can go anywhere, right? They can literally go anywhere in the universe. I mean, maybe it's a bit of a stretch, but he knows that there are some habited worlds out there. I mean, maybe some of the ones he's seen may not fit them, but there's an idea. Maybe they can go anywhere on Earth, anywhere on Mars. At least 20% of the planet is able to be, well, you know, habited without helmets. There are still problems there, but it is iffy. Terraforming it took long, and right, right now he is wondering about that. He wants to look into the terraforming project they had there. I mean, there were projects that, well, they did run awry. Ultimately, they did help in the end. What was it? A hundred years ago? Two hundred? There was a project they had on Mars. Well, colonies were there. There was a problem. And one of the experimental terraforming, well, you know, attempts, they managed to get green life there, plant life there. And thanks to a rapid accelerant, they may or may not have accidentally, you know, created their own environment. Now, Deku, he does think, get to the green spot on Mars. That's a possibility. But if they run with a spaceship, that could be the first place they check. Hell, maybe even one of the Mars colonies, a place on the moon. Or, hmm. Now, they could just think about that for a minute. He has an idea. He has tons of ideas. But for right now, there's one that sticks out in his mind. One that he hopes could work. And Deku, he is a bit more worried. As we do actually, where Malaysia is going to at least roll over and grab onto Deku. And Deku, he does go look right at her. Ash is going to open her eyes and look right at him. Asking if he's okay. Yeah, I'm fine. Amelia bring her hand up onto Deku's chest. Asking if he really is okay. Deku bring down his right hand and putting it right onto Amelia's. Yeah, I mean, I'm thinking. <sighs> Amelia, it's hard to think when you're a detective. You always think about the case, you always think about solutions. You always focus on those little details whenever you're making a plan. And right now, it's helping me out a lot. I'm... Somewhat grounded, but, hell, I have a lot of crazy fucking ideas right now. <sighs> Do you mind filling me in? What? Filling me in? Letting me know? Yeah. Um, <laughs> there's a, there's a few things, but, um, there's... One thing before. Before? Yeah. Yeah, um... Let's... Let's get married. Uh, what? <laughs> that's, um... That's, uh, funny. Now, Amelia doesn't want to laugh. And she does at least gonna... Well, brush it off as a bit of a joke. Deku... He's... Joking. Right? Now, Amelia does a stare at Deku. She could just smile and laugh a little bit. She thought the idea was funny and even giggled. But there's Deku's expression. He's... He's serious. Oh, oh my god. Um, I, I thought you were making a joke. No, Amelia, I'm... I'm serious. Let's... Well, I can't believe I'm saying this. Let's get married and run away. I I have a plan. 
I, I accept. Now, Amelita's going to kiss Deku. And right now, Deku, he is wondering. It might take a few days, and once the research is done, they're going to leave. So, they got some time. Now, just to figure it all out. Hopefully, one of his ideas, they can actually work here. Because if not, it's his life on the chopping block. Now, with that being said, I do hope you guys enjoyed. And have an amazing day. I'll catch you guys in the next part.